Hi, my name is Adrian. I wanted to share a story about this painting to illustrate how my connection to source has really come about. Um, this is the first painting I ever did. I completed it probably three years ago now. Um, and I literally had not painted since grade school. I took a seven week course that was daily guided meditations and then you would come and kind of paint what arose in those meditations. And I constantly bumped up against the ideas and pictures in my mind and the actual skill that I had. But by the time I got to the end of this painting, I don't know if you can tell it's a buffalo, here's the head. Um, I was so wildly proud of myself and in love with this painting. Um, and at the very end, the very last um, meditation I did, I was could feel that the painting was coming to uh, closure. Um, and the very last thing I got was that the painting wanted this big white circle painted through the middle of it. And I remember just being like, oh my God, no, no, not my very first painting. I'm finally proud of this thing. I've been working on it for two months and you want me to paint a white circle through the middle. Um, but it was really the first time that I heard and felt spirit's guidance so clearly um, and was able to trust it. After seven weeks of doing all that, I was finally able to trust that guidance and that call. And um, I keep this painting in my studio just as a reminder that in those uncomfortable moments um, when we're being pushed forward or called to do something that we don't want to do, that we can do it and then it's okay. Um, and so, you know, I remember um, kind of backstory for me, trusting intuition and listening to my gut is something that for probably 30 years of my life, I did not think I had the capability to do. I remember as a new mom, um, 11 years ago with my baby, other moms and other women always telling me, you know, trust your intuition, trust your gut feeling. And I would just be, it totally eluded me and it totally frustrated me um, because I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. I have butterflies in my stomach right now. I feel sick to my stomach right now. I feel anxious and worried. I feel all these other emotions, but there's no divine guidance there. There's no guiding light. There's no inspiration. There's no gut feeling to follow. Um, and it wasn't until I started my painting practice that I really began to tap into that intuition and that gut feeling that we all have. But really for 30 years, I would have sworn that I did not have that. I, that's how um, distant and like pushed away from all of that I was. Like I really, I didn't live from that space and I live from that space today, but painting has taught me to do that. And because I've learned how to show up at the canvas and live this way, I have learned to so much more deeply connect into, like I feel a little um, emotional almost talking about it because it's really helped me connect into all of the rest of the world because that disconnection that I felt really permeated my whole life. Like I felt cut off from nature. I felt cut off from other people. I felt isolated. I felt alone. I thought I was the only one who was dealing with all the feelings that I was dealing with. And um, showing up at the canvas really has created and cultivated this trust and um, this inner knowing that now, um, yeah, that is now like my guiding light. That's how I, this is the space that I work from in my whole life now. And most importantly, and the thing that I think I'm most grateful for is that it reconnected me to the plants and to nature. Um, I had had that incredible connection like so many kids do as, as a child. Um, and then I had totally shut it down. And really in hindsight, if I'm being honest with myself, it was probably always there. It was always there that um, calling that intuition. I just thought I was crazy. <laughs> I didn't know anyone else who operated from a space of, um, you know, synchronicities and intuition and, you know, listening to plants and, you know, having that inner voice so loud that I really thought I was crazy. So I just didn't tell anybody and I did my damnedest to shut it down inside myself. Um, 
So these are some of the things that I am so passionate about sharing with other women um, and really helping other people recreate, recreate that connection for themselves, you know, just knowing yourself, but also being able to go out into the world and connect with Mother Earth in the plants and the animals and, you know, other women in such a deep and special way. So thank you. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video series.